Hi everyone, this video is about types of keys in a database or in, in a relation, okay? So we have these types of keys, primary key, candidate key, alternative, alternate key, super key, composite key, foreign key, and unique key. So now we will discuss them one by one, okay? And we will explain them and we will differentiate them. So the first question is that why we need we have keys in our database, okay? Uh, the key is an attribute or a set of attributes in a relation that identifies a tuple or record in a relation, okay? It uniquely uh, identifies a record for us, okay? Uniquely identifies uh, relations for us, the tuples for us, okay? It is why we are using it. And also we can use to create a relationship between tables using these keys, okay? So now we will come more to the first one, which is the primary key with us. Uh, the primary key is uh, a unique key with us and it can't be null, okay? It don't take null value and it is a unique, uh, uh, unique does in our relation. It identifies our relation in our table, okay? Records uniquely, okay? So as you see in this employee table, we have uh, these columns, these are columns. So the first column, employee id it is identified it can identify our relations our um, uh, records uniquely okay and also the ssn says ssn also can identify this okay a security number okay so but which one we should prefer which one we which one we should we should select oh, we should select the employee id okay because this is uh, for the security purpose we should not select this one so the, the ideally we select the employee id as a primary key so these are the details you can read it so now we will move to the second one which is the um, yeah to define the um, primary key the conditions for that is that no two rows can have the same primary key value okay two rows should not have same value as the uh, for example we have one we should not have duplicate for that every row must have a primary key value every row should have a primary key value it should not be null the primary key field cannot be null okay value in a primary key column can never be modified or updated it can't be updated okay if any foreign key reference to the primary key for example there is a reference to this and we cannot update that if we have reference the foreign key uh, the candidate key okay the candidate key uh, is an individual column in a table that qualifies for a unique of each row or tuple it also uniquely identify at row or tuple for us like you see in this table okay mm, here employee table has the employee id and ssn are eligible for primary key okay both are eligible for prim primary key and thus are candidate keys so we are selecting one primary key but we have more than one candidate key in our table okay so these are both candidate keys with us but we are selecting one of them as a primary key so it was a difference okay i hope that you got it got the point And what is the alternate key, okay? The alternate key is the candidate column other than primary key column like employee ID. See here, we have this employee ID in SSN. We had these two columns, okay? But here we selected employee ID as a primary key, but we left the SSN. So SSN is the alternate key for us. It is the alternate key with us. So the key which are left, okay, we didn't select as a primary key. Now let's move to the super key. What is super key? And uh, if you add any other column attribute to a primary key, that it becomes a super key, like employee ID plus employee name is a super key. Whenever you add another column to our primary key, that became which identify a record uniquely. So that is a super key with us. A super set, okay, it is a subset. See, we, we giant employee ID and employee name, we can join with the department DOB, SSN employee name. So which are uh, just uh, identifying uniquely, so that is super key with us. And we join that with the primary key. Yeah, here you can see a super key is a set of one or more attributes that are taken collectively and can identi identify all other attributes uniquely. And the composite key, as from the name suggested, whenever we select more than one uh, attribute, so that is called the composite, okay? We have selected two or more columns. 
so here we have selected for example if we don't have employee and it's seen in our employee table so we can select these two employee name and the date of birth so again it may be it is a possible to become the duplicate but when we select more than or two or more than two columns so that is a composite key with us and the foreign key so let's here in below tables we have these two tables okay the department id this and the department the department and the department id okay uh, in, in department table department uh, id is the primary key whereas department id of employee table is foreign key this is primary key with us and this is the foreign key as well with us okay what the foreign key do it means that it has referred to another table it has reference to another table this concept is known also referential integrity okay so when foreign key means that to have a reference to another table it is called foreign key okay it has reference with another foreign key primary key in another table uh, lastly we can define the unique key unique key is same as primary key with the difference being with the existence of null it take a null value one value it takes one value as a null but the primary key don't have null values so as we have we see the email id okay so it was all about the unique key and other keys in database i hope this video was helpful uh, finally thanks for watching guys